hello there you guys so today is 13th of june now 2017 and i'm again driving a scania p280 but it's not the same truck it's a different truck that i drove in from yesterday here they are by the way building this vega uh, community kind of lots of new apartments and a new train station and whatnot looking forward to seeing how it looks when it's going to be done um, so yeah this truck is also a P280 horsepower two axles so as you can see down here is two axles although I have very heavy load now on this driving axle 10.5 tons and that's overload or overweight so yeah uh, I'm gonna drive into a garage where it's I think a 10 ton axle weight limit but I'm pretty sure it will hold, you know, it's just only half a ton more. But still it's illegal, so you guys, you should really think about that. that um, it's, uh, you know, don't do as me and go even though you have a little overload it might you know result in huge fines I don't know how but if they were I think the only way is if it were to be an accident uh, then you'd get into trouble if, if they figured out it was overload because of the overload but if nothing happens then it's like no way it's not like the police is gonna stop you and put weights under your truck. Uh, this one is uh, actually has one different thing from the other truck. It's like exactly the same, although the gearbox it has eco driving mode. The other one doesn't. So that's very odd. Like they're exactly the same trucks, but the other one only had. A mode and AP, which is the climbing, like ad automatic program mode, I think. It didn't have this AE, this eco mode here. So, this one has this AE eco mode. And by the way, these newer scanners, you know, they have this automatic eco driving where it pops into neutral by itself and stuff like that. Well, I think you can turn it off, you know, as I've complained earlier that you can't do What is this? Engine error? It's warning. I got some, um, some sort of problem here. Oh shit. There's some problem with the um, exhaust cleaning. I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's some kind of a problem with that. I'm gonna have to report that later when I come back. And also I will try and mention the the overload. So maybe they think about that and tell the other chauffeurs that they should not overload. Because I did not load this truck. I just started work 40 minutes ago. And somebody else loaded it up for me. A daytime driver who were just about to quit, they actually quit work right now. So they, they usually come back like uh, when we start work and they load it up maybe for us. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to make an error report on this. And uh, also, I had a metal piece sticking out there by the rear end. I took a photo of it. It was an old damage because it was very dirty and stuff, so I didn't tell the fleet managers, otherwise I will tell them there's a damage there, you know, so I don't get to be blamed later on. 
or you know, if you can just also snap a picture and then you have you can save the picture for uh, like a month or so. But so yeah, that metal piece was like sticking out, so I bended it in because that's illegal if you have metal pieces or sharp pieces sticking out of your truck or plastic uh, plastics that has broken and are you know sharp. Uh, usually the mud guards or whatever they call mud flaps or the one the guards like over the wheel they can get broken and they can get sharp so you should definitely fix that or report that because uh, you know police doesn't usually check trucks they usually only like check cars and I don't even know if it's so <laughs> it's very rarely that you get caught for it but there there's a lot of for a reason you know and that's because people can get really hurt if there is something sharp sticking out and you if you crash into somebody or snatch somebody they can get a lot more hurt than they would have if it wasn't sticking out you know so I was actually thinking about going in before I took off and telling them about that thing and saying you know I don't want to drive or it's it's not legal or and see what they say but I bend it in so now it's not really dangerous and then I was like yeah what <laughs> oh boy this morning and by the way we're right now in uh, this Nunesham road we just took off from the terminal in Jurbro we're gonna go to Naka Sikla which is right before you enter the city you take a right so it's right like here, if you can see. I'm looking at the road now, by the way, I'm just pointing the camera here with my head. Uh, over here, so we're gonna go up there to Nakasikla, into a garage that we were there. I think, I, I started the video like when it was 16 minutes left to the destination, so I think it will be perfect, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see, because as uh, some of you might not know, uh, the video records in these settings for 17 minutes and 50 something seconds before it cuts and I don't want to edit it together, I just want to upload a raw video so that's the reason it's gonna cut well anyways this morning was uh, yeah, not so fun because I had stomach problems I woke up like 11, no wait, I woke up 12.20 Cooked some uh, eggs with queso and uh, some oatmeal with banana Ate that shit up took, up took on all my motorcycle gear, took my motorcycle today to work And uh, when I was about to go I could feel my stomach rumbling I was like, oh crap, I gotta go to the toilet. With all my motorcycle gear on, and I was supposed to leave for work, and I was already a bit late. So I had to run back in, and go to the toilet, take some, uh, you know, stomach pills to calm down my stomach. You know, this Imodium. I take this in the mouth, but it's like instant relief. And then I put on my motorcycle gear, jump on the bike, just drive the heck out of there driving really fast no I wasn't driving too fast but you know it's very stupid of me really to drive too fast just to get in time for work it's very stupid you should never do that you guys don't ever speed to get to work I does I do it but I tell I'm telling you guys that you should not do it <laughs> but still I'm doing it <laughs> No, but it, I know it's wrong, you know, why I'm doing it. It's like... It's not worth it at all, but I, I do it very carefully, at least. Like, only when it's no cars. I don't overtake like a maniac. Only when it's safe. So, it's fine if you know what you're doing and you're careful, I guess. Oh no, it's not fine, but... It's more okay then, I think. If, if you're late for work. But so yeah, I just made it like, I came to work exactly, I, I stamped in the clock, uh, 14 o'clock, like right when I was gonna start. 
earlier I did come always to work like one minute too late all the time and then my boss was like complaining a lot and I was like what are you complaining about it's only one minute it's like jeez and uh, he was like uh, I don't think he can see that I was one minute late he just gets a notification that that I was late that day so he thought I was very late all the time so Okay, it's a bit doubtful that the camera will record this whole way with this traffic here because we're gonna go into the right up there and there's always a lot of traffic here. I'm gonna check how long the camera's been recording. Okay, been recording for 11 minutes and we got 7 minutes left. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna record me going into the garage. but. I hope it's even recording the sound now, I don't even know Because um, last time it didn't record the sound, this shit GoPro Man, I've had so many problems with this GoPro It's just shit But it's it's a great camera, I mean it's, it's kind of worth it It's just so many small and annoying bugs and errors and stuff like that Let's see if we can cut the line here a bit <clears throat> he's blinking to the left so let's let him go first oh he's blinking to the left as well though. Oh, he's not even... What the douche? That truck was blinking to the left, so I thought he was gonna go like that. That's why I waited for him. <laughs> douche. <laughs> I like that word. I like these Scanias. They are nice trucks. Although I, I could really use an extra boogie axle in the rear. Just a supporting little axle there. Whoa! What was that? This camera has always get so smushed up. I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to clean that up, but I always forget to clean it up. It's very hard to remember that. Even though I have it in automatic eco mode, it's not shifting properly. I think it's taking a very long time until it pops into the. 8th gear, this is 8th geared truck by the way, usually trucks have 12 gears, this one is automatic 8th geared. But yeah, I don't know why it's just so slow on shifting up when it's in the echo mode, it should shift up faster to save fuel. Very strange. But, luckily the Scanias have such a nice shifter, you can just pop up the the knob here, you don't have to go down here like on the Volvos and stuff. And this truck does not have a retarder, only the motor engine brake, which is activated by a switch and then it's turned on by either pressing the brake pedal or a brake sort of button on your left foot like where your clutch should be if you were driving manual or left of the clutch actually so now we only have two kilometers left four minutes it says hopefully the camera will record some of this I don't know still what I'm gonna do later on even, even though if I knew 
sometimes there's chaos at the terminal and they uh, change change the route. very close <laughs> very risky I don't know why I always go so close in, in uh, roundabouts I feel like it's safe but really it looks very unsafe and you know it could break all of a sudden who knows you know it's just it's not I don't know why I'm doing it I need to stop going so close so now we're just gonna take a left here in the roundabout up ahead then we're gonna enter the garage that leads us to the store where I'm gonna deliver. We have these electric trucks, electric pallet trucks. Why is it not engine breaking? You should never go in fast, so fast like I did there in roundabouts. It's so easy to like. Oh, they're taking their student here. People are taking students today. Oh yeah, that's right. Today there are many schools they're taking the student. I completely forgot about that. I need to congratulate my friend. watching this leave a like check out the ads the adverts uh, if you wanna maybe you'll find something you like 